Aloha! Today I'm going to show you a little bit about Pearson Writer since it's not a traditional textbook. And we're going to start by going to our La Lima page. And if you notice over to the left in the tool section, I've added Pearson Writer. So you can go ahead and click on Pearson Writer. And sometimes it goes directly to the site, sometimes you have to click this little relaunch in a new page. And here we are in Pearson Writer. So we're going to have to sign in and if you haven't accessed the site before, you're going to have to go through the registration process and enter the access code that you bought. And once you do that, you'll have access to the site for one year. So we're going to go ahead and sign in. And I have slow internet connection today, of course, because I'm trying to make this video. I have to practice patience, which is something I'm not always that good at. And here we go. So the first option we have over to the left is the writer's guide. Go ahead and click on Writer's Guide. And if there's any subject related to writing you want more information about, say you want to know more about a thesis statement, go ahead and type in whatever it is you're looking for. And we'll see how many search results we get. We have 148 different items related to a thesis statement. So you can take your pick. Do you want to read something? Do you want to watch a video? And so forth. But as you can see, you have several different options as far as how you can learn more about writing a thesis statement. The next option we have is my projects. And as far as time management is concerned and organization, this is a helpful tool to use. I've already created a project called Essay 1, and you can go in and edit any of the information you need at any time for a project that you've created, or you can delete a project if you want to do that as well. And this, of course, is not limited to our class. You can use this for any other class that you're taking. So we haven't really done anything for this paper, as you can see. We have the writing progress. And all I've done is actually just create something. I haven't entered anything else into this. But you can see that you have guidelines as far as planning, researching, writing and revising, and editing your paper for the bibliography or work cited. Uh, there's a breakdown of what you've actually looked at as far as citing a source or finding a source. And then if you want to make any notes as far as how you're doing with your paper or maybe feedback you've received from classmates or your instructor, you can do that here. I'm going to go ahead and look at create a source. So something that's going to be very helpful for you when you are writing your papers. So you can either create a new project or go to essay number one, which we've already created. And it depends on the type of source you're using, but say you are going to pull something up from a website, then we're right here by default at website. And I have a website, an article from a website here. What you're going to do is go ahead and highlight the URL copy it, and go back to your site of source, click in the box, paste it, click search, and just like magic, here we go. You guys are so lucky you have these tools. When I did this back many years ago, I won't say how many, I had to do it the old-fashioned way, write all the information down on an index card, and type it out. So once you make sure everything is correct 
in these different boxes, and we'll talk about this later in class. You can click create a citation. And in just a minute or so, the work is already done for you. And again, like I said, it depends on what source you're using. This example, we are using a website. And this is really slow. It's going to pop up with your source, and it's going to look just like this. Once this page is finished loading, I'm not going to wait for it because it's taking quite a while. But once it pops up, oh, there it is. So it's already double spaced. You already have your indentations. And we will talk about these requirements later in class, but you're just going to have to copy and paste this right into your works cited or bibliography, which is really, really nice for you. The next feature is find a source. And if you're looking for a source, you can go ahead and type in your subject. I'm going to put Rio Olympics, which I just looked at earlier. And then you can see we have different choices as far as articles related to the Olympics. You can click on any of these to read them. There's also an abstract or a short summary letting you know what the article is about. And if you like it and you decide to use it in your paper, you can cite it. So all that work is done for you, which is really nice. And then the last feature is writing a review. For writing review, this is a feature you'll probably use quite frequently. This allows you to upload your papers and then have them edited by this um, Pearson Writer tool. So I have something down here in Word. I'm going to highlight it, copy it, and oops, go back here to our writing review, paste it in, and click on this button check. Let's see how we did. So we have some issues we need to address. You can see that misspelled words are in red and Grammar issues are in green. It looks like Christmas up in here, so let's see what's going on. We have suggestions that um, we can click on. So if we click on the area that's in question, suggestions are made as far as how to fix these. And one thing, though, you want to make sure just because something is highlighted, it's not necessarily incorrect. Or also you don't want to just start clicking on the correction that's suggested because it might actually not be correct. So this is just a computer program to give you a heads up. But you should always, before you make any changes, make sure you understand why you're making the change and know if it's accurate or not. And if you need more help with that, you might want to visit an actual human being. You can email me, you can see a tutor. We have online tutoring available as well, and that's all free. So that's a brief overview of Pearson Writer. We will look at this later on a little bit more as we get deeper into the semester. If you have any questions related to any of these areas, please let me know.